We'll zoom back in. Runs good. You can switch his flip his switches. Hello there, and uh, this time today we're going to uh, change our character from just a basic walk to uh, be able to run as well. Um, probably most people have figured this out, but uh, we'll we'll add a little bit of a uh, uniqueness to it, I guess. So, got our character. He just walks around, and if you're like me, I get tired of walking everywhere. Uh, sometimes that really kills a game <laughs> for me to, to not be able to run around. So let's get this character to be able to run around, uh, make it a little more entertaining. So what we are going to do is go back to our, our character. Yeah, I'll go in there and initialize. Um, so we're going to create a running. We're going to set to false and then a running run rate. And this will be uh, how much faster he can run. We'll just set that to one. Our move rate now is one. I guess maybe we'll, we'll add that to run to maybe three times as fast. I don't know. We'll go with that for right now. So moving, uh, we'll create a variable here. We're going to change all these to bars. So var is a character that's local versus one that's available for the entire entire time. And most of these we could actually set to vars. So set up to b b run. So prefix b for boolean. We're going to set it to our left shift. So for moving and hold down left shift. And really, uh, it's as simple as this. Um, okay, we do right here. So if we're running, we're going to uh, we're going to create a bonus move rate just in case we want to do something with it later besides just running. Like if you get a power up or something, uh, we can add that throughout here. So running will be if we run our bonus bonus move rate. It's going to be our our run rate. And we got that from our create event over here, and we are going to add a bonus move rate. So walking, now we're running. It's a pretty fast run though. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just make that. Uh, we're we're <clears throat> we'll try maybe half the speed. So the other thing we're going to do is add a run angle. We're going to make our character lean a little bit. Now this only can work because where I have the sprite, the origin of the 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 character since I have it at their feet I'll be able to pull this off but if you didn't have it at their feet you had it like in the middle of the character then it's not going to work really this is only going to work if you use your your feet as your origin so I guess maybe I'll add two actually I'm going to I'm going to set the global one to true and if we're not running, we're going to set it to false. That way we either know we're running or we're not. And in our draw event, what we're going to do is change instead of just this uh, draw self, we are going to change it to a draw like the other one right above it. Then this is where we're going to change to our. I guess I don't need to do that. I do. That's what I want. 
If running. I guess I should have finished that. So if we're not running, we're going to set to zero. And this is a blend in our normal. These are all normal variables. Actually, I'm going to change this to image angle. So we're going to do two things. One is the direction we're leaning, which is set by our character direction, times our all right, run angle. We're also going to add this to our character above. If that works. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Yeah. Let's get in there a little bit closer. So I have need to change this just a little bit. Our character is walking. Now when I hold shift, you can see he tilts just a little bit. But he's tilting the wrong way. So we are going to change that. And this we're going to change only when we're here. We're going to, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but the the shadow of the character was always tilted, so we're going to just go ahead and split this out. So you're running or you're not. If you're running, it'll just be normal. If you're running, we'll change the variable, otherwise we'll... Yeah. We'll get rid of the shadow, we'll switch, make it lean the same direction. So you'll have opposite signs. We'll zoom in. Yeah, so they lean a little bit. I don't know if that really... Yeah, that's nice. We lean to this direction, we lean forward. The way we want, right? This way he leans back, so we need to fix that. But oh, because we're doing plus. We need to do a times. Yeah, there we go. So he's leaning forward, leaning forward. Yeah, that's what I want. So now if we want it to be a little more of an angle, because that's it's great when you're just standing there. Let's give him like a four degree run angle. We don't want it. Yeah, there we go. Walking, running, gives you a little bit of a running, running, walking, running. So he leans forward a little bit when he, when we run. Gives him a little bit of a speed look. I like that. Might want to, I don't know if we want to change this to a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. That's a good good pace that he's running at. We'll zoom back in. Runs good. You can switch his flip his switches. When, yeah, there we go. All right. Well, and, uh, until next time.
good luck, Cody.